Welcome and thank you for viewing my project today. We're going to look at my current method for tramming the bed. I say tramming because leveling the machine has already been done with a mechanics level and the gantry has also been leveled. What we're working on now is making the print bed perpendicular to the travel of the print head. In the past, I would only perform quick leveling. Firstly, because the wing nuts were so hard to get at and the paper feeler gauge seemed a little too archaic and inevitably I'd hit the proximity sensor requiring a calibration of the two. Leveling knobs. I found a design for leveling knobs that would fit the tight constraints of the DP5. I also printed the spring cup included with the design, which I believe will help avoid damage caused by the sharp edges of the springs. Finding an indicator. A trip to my local pawn shop provided a good use Mitutoyo 1411 for less than $10. Indicator mount. Searching Thingiverse brought up about a dozen items. Three were close, but the one I liked was modified to exactly fit the DP5 and adjusted to not need supports. So I restart the machine and I get myself a nice clean starting point. So in this case, the machine is restore fail safe and then home the machine. Turn the machine off so it releases the stepper motors. I dial the indicator. Push that down. Just enough to make some contact. You don't want the uh, indicator to be the end of the travel either end. So push it in so it's about midway. You have to move the bed around a bit to do this, so a little bit of tightening is, not a, good, is a good thing. And I'll just my indicator here to zero. I pick one corner as my standard. The back left is the hardest to access, so I chose that one. Don't adjust this corner after you start. Just return often and re-zero the indicator here. Adjust the other three corners until you achieve your desired tolerance. My indicator reads one division as one thousandths of an inch. The paper that I used to use as a gauge reads three thousandths of an inch or three divisions on my indicator, so anything less than three divisions is ahead of the paper method. Starting by adjusting the perpendicular corner seems to be the quickest method. Adjust sensor. Finally adjust the proximity sensor. I use a stack of cards that I arrived at by consecutive print testing and observing the first layer. Five business cards produce the perfect layer, which for me was 0.75 thousandths of an inch. It's also important to make sure the sensor is level as any tilt will produce non-uniform results. I also had to exchange the factory hardware for longer bolts as the threads were so short that any loosening off of the nuts and they would fall off. Return to operation. For normal usage, I remove the indicator but leave the mount attached. Conclusion. Well, this is my method. I welcome any input, especially if I messed up and did something stupid. Right now, it seems to be working fine if the steadiness of the Z-axis steppers are to be believed. Remember to look below for links for the new parts.